everyone. Today we are going to walk through the steps to assemble the song mics 10 foot trampoline. This assembly instruction also refers to other sizes, um, so watch this video for whatever you need. Uh, before you begin, make sure you have two people assembling and also please wear gloves. So let's get started. Before you start assembling, lay out the pipe in a circle like this, uh, and we're ready to go. So step one is to attach the U-shaped leg to the leg joint pull. And make sure that this little guy is ejected after you attach. And we can move on. Next, we attach the well-assembled U-shaped leg to the T-shaped joint here. Make sure that the joint is fully inserted into the, into the T and that we can see these holes through. We will use these later, okay? Okay, next we finish the assembly of the ring one by one. Okay, now check each joint of both the top frame and the U-shaped legs to make sure they are securely attached. Look at these springs! They're pretty cool. One of these has a different angle curve than the other. See, this one curves in more. Okay, the one that curves in less goes on the pole, on the, uh, the ring. Okay, the other one will attach to the spring mat. All right, so step one is find a starting point. Remember, less curve on the pole. Okay, and then we just attach to the mat. Good, now, step two is count. 16 holes down and attach it to the next point, okay? So we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and hook another one. Count the rings on the mat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and connect that, and then continue. Okay, so we're on the last of the springs. Uh, for the first four, it should create a perfect box, each spring across from one another. So you might need this tool because it's gonna get a little tight. Watch here. Okay, so now we have these first four attached. We will make our way around the trampoline mat, attaching every eighth spring, which is right in the middle of the two we have already, okay? So count up to eight, which is right on the other side of the joint, and count to eight on the spring mat. Okay, great. Uh, now we are going to break from the pattern and continue on attaching each spring all around the circle. All right, now we continue finding the middle triangle and connecting it to the middle spring, which shouldn't be too difficult. There will be three on each side. Find the middle and connect. All right, you guessed it. We're gonna assemble the middle springs again, okay? Find the middle and connect. All right, find the middle and connect, okay. All right, we finished assembling the spring mat. Now we move on to assembling the uh, spring protection pad. All right, let's attach the spring guard to the spring mat. To do that, we are going to weave this rope through these little gaps. We have actual intended gaps here that we are going to weave the rope through and tie around the triangle, uh, well, triangle metal guys. All right, now that we've finished weaving the rope through the skirt, uh, fastening the guard to the spring, um, we can finish that step by finding these elastic little dangly bits and tying them to the outer ring. All 
Okay, so now we begin the assembly of the screen guard that goes around the trampoline. And to do that, we need to connect these two sets of poles. One end looks like a, uh, a flower, and one end looks like uh, not a flower, okay? So these two will go together. And once again, make sure that this little guy has popped out. We spread the attached poles around the trampoline, corresponding with each leg on the ground. Make sure that this part is facing outward and the little flower part, which will be the top of the screen guard, is in the middle of the trampoline. Okay, after we've spread all of these around neatly, uh, we will now spread the actual screen around the trampoline as well. And when we do this, we want to make sure that these sleeves are corresponding with a pole. Okay, now that we've got all of these sleeves matched with a pole, we insert the enclosure pole into the sleeve. When we do so, we want to make sure that the, uh, the foam protective cover on the pole is all the way through the sleeve. So it might get a little sticky, but working in there. All right, next, we get our big sack of bolts and nuts, and we find our little uh, loopy, loopy bolt guy. What we're gonna do with this loopy bolt guy is take him apart, take the nut out, take the washer out. Shoop, simple, okay? And we've also got this little pad. This pad is gonna fit between this pole and this pole, and will feed into this bolt, okay? So now, we need our help. All right, now that we've got our bolts tightened, we can find the screen and just pull it down to the first eye, eye loopy guy, okay? All right. Okay, great, now let's build the ladder. The ladder's gonna hook on right here in the front. So, when we attach this part of the ladder, we want the screws to be pointed this way. So, in the direction of the hooks. Okay, once we've got the ladder attached and the spring pad covered, uh, we can then go ahead and hook these onto the metal triangles underneath attached to the spring mat. And continue all the way around. Now that we've attached the screen securely to underneath, we're ready to play. But when you're inside the trampoline, always have someone zip this and buckle this from the outside for safety. Okay? Yay!